looky looky i got my off highway motorcycle stickers for my honda navi this means that i can now take my my navi on uh, wisconsin's atv trails and i don't have to worry about getting a citation so here in wisconsin if you want to take a motorcycle on atv trails you have to register it as a off-highway motorcycle or OHM so that's what I did and I got my stickers in the mail and here they are two uh, two different stickers two different stickers uh, they come two to a sheet so one so there's some extras there that say void so yeah now I got to get these stickers on the Navi and if you're like me you hate putting stickers on your motorcycle on your vehicle I can't I don't understand who the the DNR and these different agencies think they are requiring this. It makes a big mess on your vehicle, but the law is the law. Requirements are requirements. So how can you get these stickers on your bike in a way that's not going to mess up your bike or mess up your windshield? Well, I'll do a, a separate video for windshield decals, and you know how hard those things are to get off. I've got a separate video for that. I think you're going to love that. But for a motorcycle... Um, well, as you can see, it involves some transparent packing tape and the scissors and the stickers themselves. And I'm going to put mine right on the front fork here. Uh, but you can, you can see it, the front fork's a little dirty. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, wipe that, that fork first, get that nice and clean. The whole, the whole bike needs a bath, but no sense uh putting putting this little task off i can do that when it warms up so i'm gonna just clean off these both sides of the fork so basically i have something for this uh sticker to stick to it doesn't have to be perfect in fact, it really doesn't have to be perfect. The nice thing about <clears throat> putting the stickers on the way I'm going to is that, you know, it's not permanent. So that even more reason it doesn't have to be perfect. So I did a good enough job cleaning, uh, cleaning the dirt off that. I'm going to let that dry and we'll resume shortly. Okay, so... I let the fork dry, and I already put one piece of packing tape around the fork. But look what I did. It slides because I put it on backwards. I put it on with the sticky side out. Um, and I wrapped it with a little bit of overlap. So basically it stays in place, but it, uh, it slides up and down. So now I'm going to... Um, extend that because I need to uh, have enough room for my sticker and uh, then I'll place the sticker on that sticky surface and then I'll cover it all with some more packing tape only that time I'll do it um, with the uh, non-sticky surface facing out and then I'll kind of seal it all in and that sticker will be able to move up and down a little bit, but not much, because it'll be nice and tight. And that way it won't, it'll be on there, it'll be official, but it won't mess up my bike and be a sticker that I can never get off. So let me uh, add some more tape to that, and then we'll add the sticker. Okay. So I've added another piece of clear sticky tape and it slightly overlaps the first piece both have their sticky side facing out and now I'm going to add the, the actual decal so let's try doing that just like so All right, so now the sticker's on there. 
and there's just barely a little bit of extra clear packing tape on both ends of the sticker and that allows the uh the thing to slide back and forth like that i think if i left it like this you know it would work but it's a little bit it could use some extra tape on there just to kind of stiffen it up and and make it a little bit more durable and that'll kind of waterproof it too um you know it's kind of funny the instructions that came with these stickers actually say uh hey you're responsible for these stickers you have to keep them you can't you can't let them wear off you know we recommend waxing them and all this crazy stuff what a mess so i think of this uh packing tape solution the first layer of packing tape like i said protects the bike because the adhesive side is facing outward and then the 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 last layers will protect the sticker and uh make it a little stronger and uh keep it you know keep the elements off of it and make it so it doesn't slide up and down the fork too easily so uh that's my next step i'm gonna wrap some tape around the sticker now that i got the sticker on there and uh i'll show you that shortly okay so now i've got my last piece of packing tape to wrap around here let's see if i can do this so that you can see it it doesn't have to be perfect And there you have it, folks. That's pretty tight, but yet it can slide up and down a little bit, but it's nice and tight, so it's not going to fall off easy. And uh, it's somewhat weatherproof. And the big thing is it's not going to leave some dumbass sticker stuck to my motorcycle that I'm never going to be able to get off. And uh, if it does fall off, I guess worst case scenario, I could order a replacement sticker but I mean that's true no matter how you put it on there I think this is uh this should work pretty well that should stay protected you know it's not completely wrinkle free but uh who cares right it's a decal it's a requirement if you wanted to get really picky with it you could spend some time on there uh wrapping that perfectly without a camera without holding a, a video camera but yeah that's my solution and uh, i think now i'll just get that uh, second sticker on there follow the same process with that second sticker and uh done and done i'll show you that shortly okay folks there it is i got both stickers on one on the left one on the right the one on the left is my uh, is my public off highway motorcycle sticker, and the one on the right is my permanent private off highway motorcycle sticker. And uh, I think I'm going to have to get a the one on the left is going to have to be replaced every couple of years, kind of like a vehicle registration almost. And the one on the right is permanent. And just to recap, I got. Uh, a layer of packing tape down first that's the first layer sticky side out overlapped so that it actually wraps tight but sticky side out so that it slides up and down then i put the actual stickers on themselves and then i wrapped with packing tape transparent packing tape sticky side down which uh, makes them so they're not sticky to the touch and as you can see they uh they still slide up and down um not really easy but easy enough to indicate you know to prove that hey it's, there's nothing sticking and sticking permanently to my motorcycle which i hate don't make me put a sticker on my vehicle that's what they want you to do though so i think this is going to satisfy the requirement but also satisfy my ocd so that i uh don't get my my bike all effed up and it doesn't matter what kind of sticker it is. I mean, you might have stickers like this in your community that's required for motorcycles or whatever. Every uh, every state and county is different. Every province is different. So uh, 
if you got to put a sticker on your bike, I think that's the way to do it. Works for me. And uh, again, it's not perfect. If I wanted to make them perfect, I could uh, sit down there like a, a nerd for a couple hours and uh, put them on perfectly and not have any wrinkles or bubbles in the tape. But uh, this gets the job done. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not permanent. So then the only other business I got left is uh, with these stickers, I got a couple of uh, registration cards here, and I'm supposed to keep those in a safe place. I think I'm just going to put those right in with the instruction manual so that if you need them, if you've got the bike, you've got the, the registration cards for off-highway motorcycle riding. And uh, put that bad boy right down in there. Store it away under the seat. Look a good boy. I'll file these away in the in the file cabinet. And that is how I put stickers on my motorcycle, y'all, without making a big mess. Looky, looky, that looks pretty nice. A lot nicer than having them permanently stuck to the bike. So hope you like the video. Hope you find it useful. And as always, please like and subscribe.